War Diary Day 586 of Russia's war against Ukraine. So how we're doing, the progress of the front is slow, very slow. That's partly because there is a lack of uh, artillery munition for the Ukrainians. It's partly because there's a lack of air cover. And it's also partly because of us. The Americans are in a, got themselves into a pickle over the financing of their government and one um, well partial result so far is they pass a law to keep Uncle Sam going but without any aid for Ukraine. This is a terrible signal. Rory Stewart, by the way, I recommend his book uh, which has just come out, uh, Politics on the Edge, very much as a, a seriously good explanation of why government in Britain has been failing this past decade more. But he said recently there is a difference between Russia and Ukraine and that Russia doesn't is strong enough on its own, it doesn't need allies. Ukraine does. So the problem here is not the ability of the Ukrainians to fight, they're good at that. They believe in what they're doing. They believe in defending their country from attack by a fascist power. The problem that Ukraine has got, says Rory Stewart, is its allies, because there is a history of fickleness in the West, and that's true. So I look at what's happening on the American right, the continuing support for the liar and fraudster and cheat Donald Trump and I'm scared. I look at the messaging from Britain and the British government has been good but essentially it's good on tactical stuff but not strategic stuff. We need to double our defenditure and expense because we, we may not be able to rely upon the Americans and the same goes for Europe. So the West needs to pull its finger out. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. <laughs>